Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, this is DJ KB. This is our second program for tonight, and it's in his presence. In his presence, there is always fullness of joy. That is what a Reverend Vanapai always says. In the presence of the Lord, there is always fullness of joy. Today is Monday. So we bring you another edition of In His Presence. Last week we started discussing the reasons why we should pray. 30 biblical, scriptural reasons why we should pray. We started, we couldn't finish. I believe we couldn't finish. So today, Reverend uh, Van der Poy will help us to attempt to finish it <laughs> that is if we are able um to to finish it so we will do our best but prayer yes. is important if we can have 30 reasons that means it's important that we should pray mm. it's not something we should joke with right welcome to in his presence reverend vanderpoy how are you sir thank you I am blessed of the Lord, sir. How are you as well? By his grace, we are doing great. Thank you. Pastor. Amen. How is the family and the network? Grace is abounding. Everything is good. We thank God. Yes, so last week, um, you started teaching on 30 biblical reasons why we should pray. We couldn't finish. So, are we going to finish today? <laughs> uh, we will attempt. We okay. will attempt. All right. Over we will you, attempt. Sir. Thank you. God is our our strength. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So, let's see. Let's hear you. As the Lord leads you. Thank you, DJ KB. Thank Amen. you, Top Online Radio. The opportunity is ours by the grace of God. Dearly beloved, viewer, we thank God for your life and we welcome you on this, pre on this program mm -hmm. and we pray that you will share to all the links, all the links, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and others are available. Yes, share, yes, share. Uh, the Lord is good. All the time is good. Amen. Father, we invite you tonight. Amen. We pray for your protection. We pray that you will absolutely take control tonight. Amen. We release ourselves that the blood of Jesus will saturate us. The blood of Jesus will cause us to stand tall. Lord, Amen. we pray that we will not speak a uh, man's wisdom, but the demonstration of the power of God. Spirit divine, you are welcome. And we pray that you will absolutely take control of everything. And mm -hmm. you will bless us and you will open our eyes of understanding. Somebody, as you hear the sound of my voice, God is visiting you wherever you are. Just pay attention to the program and just meditate on the words of the Lord. And the Lord will vindicate you tonight. You are restored to the joy of the salvation of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Once again, we give God the praise and honor. Like DJ KB rightly said, we started talking about 30 biblical reasons, Bible reasons why a believer should pray. And I, I, I was just uh, meditating and I realized that all religions, those who e don't even believe in God, they have a media they pray to. So prayer is very important. Prayer is needed in our day-to-day -day affairs with the Lord. Prayer is our means of communication 
where we can come before God and ask him to direct our steps and to praise him and to acknowledge him and to show worship unto God. And we started, we were up to 13, if I will attempt to uh, uh, rush through what we did, just to uh, uh, refresh our mind. We said Jesus, the first and important one, we said Jesus is our example of prayer. And in Luke 18, we saw that Jesus gave a parable. And Jesus said, men hope to pray always and not faint. We read from Luke 22, 44, where Jesus prayed till his sweat became like a, a blood. He agonized in prayer. So that tells you, Jesus prayed at the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus prayed all night. Jesus prayed in the morning. And Jesus prayed at the, at the dead man's grave. To, he prayed and he called upon God and resurrected Lazarus. So it's very important if your master, our savior, was a prayer warrior, he was the great intercessor, how he, he forever uh, make an intercession for us to the uttermost part of the world. And we said, secondly, that God anticipated the problems of man, and God created a media or God created a way that we can communicate to him. We read uh, Hebrews 4 and the verse uh, 16. Come boldly before the throne of God's grace to obtain mercy and to find grace to help in time of need. So prayer is needful. Prayer is necessary. Prayer commits us to God and prayer causes us to be able to communicate to God. Thirdly, we said that every Christian work, every setup must be prevailed with prayer. And we read from Acts 13 where we saw the, uh, the apostles prayed and fasted and God said to him, uh, to them, separate unto me uh, Paul and Barnabas. Separate unto me Saul and Barnabas. The Spirit of the Lord came upon them. That tells you and I that when we pray, God hears. And when he hears, he grants the petitions of our heart. Tonight, God will hear the, uh, the supplication of your heart. Begin to pray. If you have a situation, take it to God in prayer. I pray for you and I pray that God will anoint your head with oil. I pray that God will turn your situation around. I have started praying already. I'm charged and I know you are also charged. God, he hears the petitions of his people. Hallelujah. Amen. And we saw that prayer is a mandate. We have a mandate to pray. And over there, I have, I have already shared a, a, a scripture with you. I say, uh, Luke 18, Jesus said, man ought to pray always and not faint. Pray always and not faint. And in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, Jesus said, uh, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. The ceases, the church must pray, for that is where uh, strength lies. The church is you. The church is me. When we talk of church, we are not talking of the building, but we are talking of the people in the church. So your strength lies in prayer. Your strength lies in prayer. May I say it again? As you call on to God, things that you cannot do on your own, Tonight, I pray that you will center everything to God. You will take everything to God in prayer. And God will direct your steps. And God mm -hmm. will cause you to know that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. The seven, we say the church or 
we must pray because that is one of the things that distinguishes our meetings from ordinary social gatherings in the world. Prayer distinguishes, differentiates. When we pray to God, they know where we belong. When we fail to pray, God will not hear us. The, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the secular, they fail to realize that prayer is the capital of the believer. May you not fail to realize that God at every time, every second, he wants you to communicate to, God, to him. Somebody communicate to God everything in prayer. As I'm talking, there is something I can see you, you have a burden, take it to God in prayer. You can pray without anybody knowing that you are praying. When you acknowledge God in your heart and you say, God, this situation is bigger than me. I give it to you. He will hear you. So God hears you tonight. <coughs> and eight, the church must pray because we are under attack. The family must pray because we are under attack. The individual must pray because we are under attack. And tonight we pray corporately. And tonight pray individually that every burden, every shackles of the enemy, every hand of the enemy shall be aborted in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we pray because we are under attack. We are under attack corporately as a church and separately as individuals. The enemy is waging a final war against the church of Christ. This means that if the church or individual will not take their place in prayer, it could dictate, the enemy can dictate the destinies of the nation. We refuse that the uh, enemy determine the, uh, the, the destiny of nations. We commit Great Britain, we commit Ghana, we commit America, we commit the whole universe. Globally, we pray for divine protection tonight. May Amen. every spell, every incantation of the enemy be cast out in the name of Jesus. By Amen. the appropriation of the blood of Jesus, by the invocation of the blood, may we be set free tonight. Amen. Amen. The church must pray because prayer creates anger for souls. For we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power unto salvation. I pray for my families, my members of my family. I pray for my loved ones. I pray for my workers. And I pray for you as well, that nothing of the enemy shall sway you, but you shall come to the saving grace of Christ. May Christ be forming you. May you love Jesus. And as you love Jesus, and as you come to him, he will take away your burdens. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But when saw, multitude. He was moved with compassion because they are fainted. May you not faint tonight. I, I was reading Matthew 9 and, and uh, 36 to 38 where he said the others is a plenteous but the laborers are few. Therefore, we pray tonight that God will send in laborers. God, you are a laborer. I am a laborer. We are co-laborers. So when we pray and ask God, he will direct our steps. Amen. Amen. Ten, the church Amen. must pray because the praying soul gains understanding. May you gain understanding. May your eyes of understanding be flooded with light. And may you pray the desire to know the future is engraved in human heart. Paul said something in, he said, for I always pray to God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight. That is uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 1, when you read 17 to 18, that your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. 
The verse, uh, the loving reason I will give you is that the eleventh reason is worry against the devil. That he, uh, he uh, uh, the eleventh reason for worrying against the devil is that he has already declared war against mankind by the religion, uh, by the rebellion, rebellion against our Maker. The devil is roaring like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. So prayer to God, asking for God's strength, is, is what will destroy the weapons of the enemy. He deceived the first Adam. He attacked the first Adam. But the last Adam, Jesus, he came that you and I will have life and have it more abundantly. Make mention of the name of Jesus. Activate the power in the blood. Call upon Jesus tonight. Jesus, save somebody. Jesus, redeem somebody Amen. from the curse of this world. Amen. Amen. 13. 12. The church must pray to establish the rulership of Jesus and to expand the kingdom. We pray to establish the rulership of Jesus and expand the kingdom of God. May the kingdom of God be expanded. He is the, uh, 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 Jesus is the last Adam, came to take rulership after man have abandoned his right uh, to Satan. He came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. I pray for you that you will walk in the abundant life of Christ, that everything you do will prosper tonight. May the Lord protect us. I, I release the shakanal glory upon your life. I release the mantle of God upon your life. And a 13, the church must pray to push back satanic <coughs> encroachment upon the church. Oh, satanic encroachment. Satan has occupied places he should not occupy. In our homes, in our heart, in our dealings with one another, in our family. And tonight, we take authority in the name of Jesus and we destroy mm -hmm. every yoke of entanglement, every power of the enemy by the appropriation of the blood, every encroachment of the enemy against your family, against your individual life. We revoke it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The closer we are Amen. to the final deliverance of the church from the earth, the fiercer the battle becomes. The battle will become tough. But hear what John says in Revelation 6 and the verses. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four be say, a measure of wheat for a, a, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hath not the oil and the wine. Things will change. Things will change, but our God is supreme. And tonight, God is setting somebody free. Tonight, God is touching somebody. As you hear the sound of my voice, and we go to 14. 14, the Bible, uh, 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 Biblically, we are to pray to discover and deal with the strongholds of the enemy. You cannot do it by your natural senses. What you feel, what you see, what you touch, what you sense. No. Yeah. We are to pray to discover and deal with uh, the strongholds of the enemy. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and the verse 4. 15. Furthermore, we must pray because we need to dispossess the enemy. <coughs> Somebody, we need to dispossess the enemy. And the enemy, Satan, is a spirit. And spiritual entities 
cannot be dispossessed until you twine with God, until you take the situation to God in prayer. And if Amen. DJ KB is all right to read Matthew 12, 29 for us in dispossessing the enemy. Matthew 12, 29. Matthew twelve twenty nine. I'll, I'll read that from the New King James Version. Yes, sir. Matthew twelve twenty nine. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house? Amen. Amen. How can one enter the strong man's house. Entering the strong man's house is a warfare. And it takes the grace of God and it takes the hand of God and the blood of Jesus and the spoken word of God for you to enter the uh, uh, strong man's house and to plunder his goods. May you be able to dispossess the entities of the enemy. Say, it's not by my might. It's not by my power, but the spirit of God that is upon me. Ah, this mountain shall become a play. Every mountain is becoming a play. Ah, God is setting somebody free. Believe the word of God and you will be set free tonight in Jesus' Amen. name. And again, uh, uh, John 10, 10 says, The thief cometh not, but to steal to kill and to destroy. But Jesus says, I am come that you may destroy, you may have life and have it more abundantly. Tonight, have more abundance of life. Christ in you is the hope of glory. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every wall, everything chasing you is coming down in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And as uh, 16 says, the church must pray, or you must pray, to break satanic verses. Some people don't believe these things, but they are real. Anything that has a name exists. Satanic curses, and generationally, through no fault of us, many were the things our great-great-grandfathers did. Our, uh, our maternal, paternal, and it, it is eating into us. But because Christ lives, and because you are born of the Spirit of God, you will pray and it will be destroyed. And Christ, uh, uh, when we read Galatians 3.13, if I will read, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is reason, curse is everyone that angered on the tree. Your redemption has come. Somebody, I want you to repeat after me. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from the curse. You of are the redeemed Lord. indeed. Every spoken word, everything buried in your family house. Everything that they are asking uh, a debt from the the, uh, the the family, we reverse it and we revoke it, not by our mind, but by Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read the book of Deuteronomy 28, from 1 to 13, talks about blessings. If you will act diligently to the voice of God, you will be blessed going out and coming in. If you will, uh, you will be the head and not the tail, and so on. But when you read from 14, it talks about the curses. And tonight, by the hand of God, and tonight, by the visitation of the Spirit, every curse, Every uh, orchestrated curse against individuals, against our family, against our children, ah, by the authority in the name of Jesus, ah, we cast it out. You are free. Amen. You are free in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So take time to read Deuteronomy 28. The whole chapter is a long chapter. 
1 to 13 talks about blessing. When you are obedient, you are blessed. You will not learn. You, you, you will not borrow. You will rather lend to people. And 17, the church must pray. You must pray because we need to deliver the cities we live in from the control of Satan. Today, the power of God is being rendered ineffective because we say, Christ in me, Christ in me, I'm born again. We don't pray. We, don't, we are not obedient. We, we don't take the word of God into prayer. But we are the pillars. We are the called ones. It is not we that we will do it. But God says in Matthew uh, uh, 7, verse 7 and 8, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it shall be opened. For anyone who asks will receive. Anyone who seeks will find. Anyone who knocks will, it shall be opened. So we pray for the nation of Great Britain. We pray for Ghana. We pray for African countries. Voodoo and uh, all things that are, are, are operating negatively. When we say it, and we don't say it in, uh, uh, in uh, 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 very well, it agitates them that the power of God is greater than all, all uh, uh, contra powers. Juju powers will bow. Voodoo powers will bow. Amen. Any power that is not named after the name of God, they are bowing right now. In the, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ephesians 6, 12 says, For we rescue not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, rulers of darkness of the world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. And do you know one thing, did JKB? Very, very... Uh, 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 tactically, craftily, the devil has succeeded in causing us to fight ourselves. Yes, that's very true. We, we don't take a, a serious the entities of the enemy. It will turn me against you, and it will turn you against you, against me, so that instead of we fighting against spiritual wickedness, rulers of darkness, taking them to God, we will be fighting against ourselves. And our strength has become uh, 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 feeble. Hmm. Every feebleness in you, I came as a servant of the Most High to encourage you. Amen. When your brother uh, uh, trespass against you, forgive him and move on. Amen. Don't dwell on the things of the flesh. The other day, the way he looked at me. The other day, the way he was looking at my suit. Hmm. These are the things. And the devil has found work for idle hands. And we are fighting ourselves. Whereas the rulers of darkness, the uh, principality, the spiritual wickedness, and all those things are rather inflicting wounds on us. But by the power of God tonight, you will give them no room anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Another important reason the church must pray is that thereby we keep the church pure and on fire. It's like what I'm saying. When we pray, we keep ourselves pure and on fire. And when we are pure, we will not, uh, uh, we will not dwell on a uh, uh, Petty, petty, petty things. We will not focus on things that are not edifying. We will not think on things, oh, uh, uh, Akosua the other day, he said something. Should I reply? Eh? And you will, uh, the next week you see, I uh, don't want to look at a, a, a place at all. But there are weightier matters. There are things, Revelation 2, 17. If we read it, we can see something there. Revelation 2 and the verse 17. Right. I will take that Revelation 2, 
17. Yes, sir. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name, written, which no one knows except him who receives it. Hallelujah. Revelations 2, 17. Amen. Amen. May you receive Amen. the new stone. Amen. May you have an ear to hear what God is saying to the church. Amen. May you major on important things. Amen. No irrelevant things. May we keep the church on fire. May we keep the church pure. That's why James 4 and the verse 7, he says, Submit unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. Hallelujah. The 19th Amen. reason is that the church must pray because prayer helps us to deliver the nations. Oh, may the nations be delivered. Amen. If the righteous rule, there will be righteousness. But when the wicked rule, there will be chaos. We pray that the wicked shall not rule. All Amen. authorities, men and women of God, uh, men and women who are in political authorities, will commit their spirit, their soul, and their bodies before the Lord. Amen. Daniel uh, 10 and 30, I will read. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me and withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael of the chief priests came to help me and I remain there with the king of Persia. Amen. May you be helped by the angels. Amen. May you be withstood. May the king of uh, uh, Persia be withstood by the angel. Oh, Amen. as we pray, God will hear us. May God Amen. hear the petition of your prayer. Deliverance Amen. is coming your way. On Amen. the Mount of Zion, the Bible says there shall be deliverance. Amen. The house of Jacob shall be, uh, shall be set free. May your household be set free. Amen. Every fire of the enemy will quench it by the Holy Spirit. We Amen. pray for you, your children, and all that you do. We pray that the works of your hands will be blessed. We pray Amen. for your uh, establishment, wherever you work. The spirit of unity, the spirit of understanding. May you be promoted tonight. Everything you stretch forth your hands to do, be blessed by the Lord. Amen. 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 Then said he, knowest that wherefore I come unto thee. And now I will return to fight with, with the prince of Persia. Ah, because the angel came for him. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. Hallelujah. Warfare Amen. surrounds the believer. May God give you the enablement spirit. May God strengthen you. May you not Amen. be weak in agonize. May you call on to God. The number 20. DJ, please be looking for our time for us. Okay. All right. Number 20 says, the church must pray because there is a territorial prince over every county, over every uh, mini municipality, over local government and over housing estates. Hallelujah. Amen. In all our boroughs, we are in London, so we will use London as a point of contact. In Newham, all other boroughs, what time for us? Barking and Dagenham. Barking and Dagenham. We name them. Every borough, we bring them under the subjection of God. We break the yokes. We break the barriers. We break the decisions that are not godly. Mm -hmm. We speak the counsel of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even though there are men and women in authority, all that they are doing 
The power comes from the Lord. So we release the Shakana glory. Amen. All the boroughs of uh, uh, Great Britain, United Kingdom. We pray for Amen. Ghana as well. Amen. 16 regions in Ghana. We pray for every region. We use Amen. Ghana as a point of contact and we pray for all the uh, uh, countries of Africa. Amen. 21. The church must pray because spiritual warfare is the way to release spiritual breakthroughs. Let me say this again. You must pray because spiritual warfare is the way to release spiritual breakthroughs. Amen. If you don't pray, you will be Lone Ranger, Ankuna, and your physical strength cannot fight the spiritual entity of the enemy. But tonight, as we read Mark 9, 28 and 27, spiritual warfare is breaking us through spiritually. May you break through. Mark 9, 28 and 29. If we can read, please. Okay, Mark 9, 28 and 29. Please. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, This kind can only go out by nothing but prayer and fasting. And fasting. So Amen. you you don't go about telling everybody, Oh, I think there is a spiritual bondage. There is, but you're saying to everybody, Without you not taking it to God in prayer, without you not laying your uh, stomach down, it shall not be broken. It takes God to enforce you. May the Lord enforce families. May the Lord enforce individuals. Oh, you, if you are obedient and call on to God, you will see that the warfare will become easier. When you don't call on God and you want to do it by your might, your power and might will fail you. The spiritual warfare are fought to release spiritual breakthroughs. May you have a breakthrough maritally. May you mm -hmm. have a breakthrough physically. May you have a breakthrough financially, mm -hmm. academically. Breakthrough, breakthrough, receive. Somebody say, I receive the breakthrough. Receive the breakthrough, breakthrough is coming. God is Jesus. hearing the supplication of your heart. Amen. And 22, he said the church must pray to raise an army for the end times. Amen. Oh, people who don't pray, they are weak. They are no match for the enemy. But when we pray, like Joel 2, 28 and 29 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon his servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. May the Lord pour his spirit upon you. Amen. May the spirit of God come upon you mightily so that warriors will be raised in this end time. Amen. We are raising warriors. The hand of the Lord is upon us. Hallelujah. Amen. 23. I think, Church, I think Reverend, um, we, we are, can pray now, honor. Yeah. I think yeah. Yeah, we've okay, taken then. so we much um, tonight. Um, I'm even losing count. <laughs> 23. 23 we, yeah, All 23. right. So, yeah, I think yeah, we have to continue um, next week. Next week. Thank next you, week. Sir. God willing. So we yeah. can uh, have enough time for the rest. That's it. 23. That's, it. That's so, true. Um, That's, yeah. That's I, I think it's... It, yeah, mm -hmm. it's... It, it, it all hammers the hammers home the point that we have to pray as Christians, as believers. It's not something. It's not an option. It's it's, it. it's it's mandatory for us to pray. 
That's it's it. It's not like if we ask them when you want to pray. No, it's we must pray. Um, pray without ceasing. That is a commandment. That's so, it. So yeah, we have to. So um, today, tonight, um, uh, we will want the man of God to pray for our listeners and viewers. As the Lord leads you, Reverend Minister, pray for us. Um, area of you know finances, marriage relationships, uh, for our children, for the sick, for the tormented. As the Lord leads you. Thank you. Sir. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, dearly beloved. Thank you for your life. I thank God for your life. Amen. The anointing of God. May the Spirit of God be poured upon all of us. Amen. Tell John and the verse 2 says, I wish above all things you will prosper. You will be in earth even as your soul prospers. Tonight Amen. we pray that you will prosper physically. You will prosper Amen. spiritually. Amen. We pray that every entity of the enemy Every burden that has been laid upon you, may the hand of God lift it up in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you be set free. Somebody says, I am free indeed. Am by free the indeed. appropriation of the blood, by the invocation Amen. of the blood. For the Bible says, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, and they Amen. did not love their life even unto death. You are set free tonight. I pray for you that every enchantment spirit, every spirit that torments you, everything that tells you you won't succeed is a lie of the devil. Ah, the hand of the Lord is upon you. He has Amen. anointed you tonight. The Lord will do a new thing in your situation. The Amen. situation that seems hopeless. Tonight, God says, I should tell you, He's working on it. Amen. And He's bringing you to an expected end. Amen. We pray for all families. Amen. For uh, Paul, he says, I, I exhort therefore, first of all, Prayer, supplication with thanksgiving be made for all men. That Amen. all men will live a quiet and peaceable life. Pray Amen. for people in authority. We pray for presidents. We pray for uh, 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 MPs, member, members of parliament. We pray for Amen. all in key positions. CEOs. We pray for men and women of God. We pray for you as well. You are very important. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. Somebody Amen. say, I am succeeding tonight. I am succeeding tonight. I break the yokes tonight. I break the yokes tonight. I receive the ointment um, uh, and the oil of God. I receive the ointment and oil of God. And the oil of God. And, and I am more God. than a conqueror more today. Than a conqueror in, Jesus in the name, name of Jesus. Amen. And we pray for our young ones at school. Amen. Oh, school curriculums. Things that will not bring edification. Things that are not godly. We refuse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for the teachers. We pray for the school workers. That the Spirit of God will direct them. We pray for key workers, hospitals, and we pray for all workers. That we will live a joyful and a peaceable life. Tonight, Amen. before I go, you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. May, may I invite you humbly. Just take inventory of your life. You've been struggling. But Jesus came and he said, you will have life and have it more abundantly. So tonight, if you will purpose in your heart and pray this prayer after me, your life will never be the same. Amen. Pray after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight. I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I come to you just as I am. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. With my heart, I believe 
unto righteousness. And with my mouth, I confess unto salvation. The Lord says you are saved. You are a fellow citizen of the kingdom of God. God Amen. bless everyone. God bless top online radio. Amen. Grace is ours. And by God's grace, we will meet 8 p.m. next week. God bless you. Thank you for receiving our program. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend Minister, um, for availing yourself to this work of ministry. Um, dear listeners and viewers, we've been, I believe you've been blessed through the program. Reasons, 30 biblical reasons why we should pray. So that means it's very important. 30 reasons. So we have no excuse not to pray. So, man of God, may God richly bless you. May he replenish everything you have lost. May he increase his anointing, his unction on you. May he increase his oil Amen. on you. And may he protect you and your family. Amen. May he give you, increase his word in you. Um, I already know that there's so much of the word in you already, but we want more. <laughs> because in God will one, give us more. Yes. <laughs> he come with 30 reasons. I don't know where you got all of them from. But so I, I know the word is in you, but we want more. More, may, more, May more, God more. give you more of the word. Amen. So that you will never run out of the way. Of, of I, his word. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So, uh, dear listeners, Ron, uh, Reverend Van der Poel is the leader of the Willing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer intercessors. Uh, they have um, Zoom meetings on Wednesdays. And it's 7 to 7.30 7 p.m. PM. Their they are meeting. Uh, details are on your screen, but I will say Amen. it again. Uh, the meeting ID is, uh, Zoom meeting ID is 716-3998-5040. That is 716-3998-5040. And the uh, passcode is 2... Capital V for Victor, capital S for Sierra, number 8, capital P for Papa, and a small A for Alpha. So the passcode again, 2, capital V, capital S, 8, capital P, and small A. Um, if you want more information about the network, or if you want to um, join the network, or if you have any prayer requests that you want the network to help you about you can call the number on your screen at the moment and speak to reverend van der Poel. that number is 07898 that is 07898 and reverend van der Poel will be glad to talk with you thank you very much reverend minister um hopefully God's willing, we will come your way for another edition of In His Presence so that you Amen. can finish for us the 30 biblical reasons why Amen. we should pray. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. Right. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's it for that was Reverend Van der Poy, um, the Willing Intercessors Network. I believe you've been blessed. 30 reasons, 30 biblical reasons why we should pray. That means, basically, if I am to, uh, to summarize the, the, the whole teachings, uh, I will say, we have no excuse not to pray. That's how I can put it. We have no excuse not to pray. So it's important we, we, we cultivate that habit of prayer. We should start at least in the morning and in the evening. Because probably maybe in the afternoon you'll be working and be busy. But in the morning, you can pray. And in the, in the evening before you go to bed, you can also pray. Start as... as um, uh, Don't put yourself into that, that um, tight corner or say, Oh, I want to pray for an hour, you know. Start, even if it is, you know, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, start with it. Then as you go along, you get used to the four minutes, then you add some few more minutes to it. You don't know, um, you never know, you may end up, you know, 10 minutes, praying for 10 minutes, or even 30 minutes, and then you carry on. Yeah, as Christians, we have to pray. Without prayer, 
we can't achieve much um, as the bible say the if, if, if the fervent prayer of um uh, um of the believer availeth much the fervent prayer of the believer availeth much achieves much so somebody also said um a, a prayerless christian is a powerless christian so we should all learn a lesson from it to pray as christians this is DJ KB. Um, I believe in blessed through today's broadcast. We had uh, the first program was Gospel Impartation Hour, um, which was um, delivered by Brother Daniel Odru from the United States of America, and um, in his presence was delivered by Reverend Vanderpoy. Uh, before I take leave of you, I'll take a few messages from our sponsors. Um, don't go away. This is Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK, hailing from the eastern corridors of London, bring you news, views, music, interviews, trending issues, and what have you. Tune in to us 24-7 on our free mobile radio app. Download our free app from the Play Store and the App Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. Download the free mobile app and tune in to us 24-7. We stream our programs live on Facebook and YouTube. Just find us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for Top Online Radio UK. We welcome your views, comments, critiques, suggestions, etc. Just get in touch on our station line 079-029-44398. That's 079 079- Zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you are interested in working with us as a radio presenter, a radio host, or a radio panelist, do get in touch and let's talk. Call us on zero seven nine zero two nine four four three nine eight. If you want to advertise on our radio, just get in touch and let's talk. 079-029-44398 If you want to sponsor any of our programs, get in touch and let's talk. Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian radio station in the UK. Listen to DJ G Nice on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Tuesday evening, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. As he brings you mixed player. What's in the mix? It's really anything goes. Social issues. Cultural issues. Diaspora issues. Ghanaian issues. It really cuts across all the board. Listen to DJ G Live this and every Tuesday afternoon, 5 to 7 p.m. UK time. Don't miss the show. Join the conversation. What's going on? Next prayer. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You can listen to this program live on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. You can also tune in live on our website. Top Online station.com download our free radio mobile app from the play store and the app store you can also get the download links from our website toponlinestation.com don't miss the show join the chat join the conversation let's talk join PJT Life this and every Tuesday afternoon 5 to 7 p.m. 
took your time. You don't want to miss this. This program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountant Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them for all your accounting and tax matters on 0208 226 4933. That's 0208-226-4933. Or you can visit their website, certifiedaccountants.org. That's certifiedaccountants.org. DJ Unis twice as much. going to do my account and tax returns for me cra certified accountants certified accountants certified accountants they will help you with your account and tax returns are you a medical driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And I was working with chairman. And then we say when you will be a what bring accounts and tax returns more. Now ban so more. Now more you actually. It didn't make careful. Certified accountant. And the amount. So F accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, not to edit. Open internet. Certified accountant. self tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And you should watch it. Company. What you work as a. Now what you have to do. No, this is a good one. No, no, no. Certified accountant. Say say about that stuff from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. And then we are going to our temporary workplaces. We are going to do our own work. 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 Four nine three three. Mobile zero seven nine five six eight zero four five one seven. Ah, certified accountant. Me huma ma me huwa chame. Mudi mpunti yo abba me duma yo. This and every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Plamine on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss this show. Make a date with Mami Plamine. This and every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK UK time on Quentio Munsem. Quentio Munsem. Quentio Munsem. Quentio Munsem only on Top Online.
Top online radio UK. We will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. Tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Or go to toponlinestation.com. Aquantio Munsem. Aquantio Munsem. Aquantio Munsem. Ghana for Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show the man Komo. Join the conversation, family issues, social issues, our Munsem, child upbringing, about our Munsem, a man to tear Munsem, a fear shensem, a member so Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to a man Komo on top online. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What Jun Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Our very lives consist of moments, occasions, events, and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forget them. Unfortunately, to forget is human, and time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions, and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts. At Dance, Dance Studios, Studios UK, UK. <laughs> a firm of professional photographers providing unequaled photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration? A business event, a religious event, a political event, or other social events. A Dance Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. A Dance Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. A Bushan Four, so Kishi Ni Yao Padia, a man Kwan Chen Fubia, a Sepicha Cinema Wu. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Contact at Dan Studios UK on 078-52-311-049. That's 078 at Dan Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs. At Dan Studios UK. Naturally flawless. At Dan Studios UK. Incredible photographs with a touch of spice. spice, spice. This is Top Online Radio UK. The top Ghanaian radio station in the UK.